Joining us uh, from Team Canada, we have Jacob Peltier as well as Dylan Holloway. Please remember to use the raise hand function to ask a question. So we'll just give it a second here for the questions to queue up. Our first question is from Patrick Henri. Patrick, go ahead. Oui, question pour euh, Jacob. Jacob, euh, l'entraîneur ne voulait pas trop nous dire quelle sorte de travail, quelle sorte de responsabilité il va donner à votre trio. Euh, C'est quoi vos forces, tu penses, selon toi, de, de jouer avec euh, euh, ces deux gars-là? C'est quoi, dans quoi vous êtes le meilleur? Écoute, je pense qu'on est très bon euh, sur le four check. Euh, je pense qu'on est trois gars euh, très rapides. Euh, je pense qu'on va être bon. Euh, offensivement, euh, mais je pense qu'on va être aussi bon en défensif. Fait que je pense que overall, on va, on va être une ligne qui va être dure euh, à, à jouer contre. Là. Je vais prendre un, un Photoshop du screen. On vous voit toi et Dylan un à côté de l'autre. On va vous voir comme ça dans les deux prochaines semaines, mais pendant quelques années, on pourrait vous voir un en face de l'autre. C'est-tu quelque chose euh, dont vous parlez euh, avec le retour de la Ligue nationale là, qui vient d'être annoncé? Euh, on n'a pas vraiment parlé euh, on se concentre sur ici. Euh, ici, on va être euh, deux quick pieds, deux line mate, probablement. Euh, fait que euh, pour le moment, c'est ça. Puis après ça, ben, je ne sais pas trop ce qui va se passer. Là. Merci. Merci. Merci, Patrick. Our next question is from Mark Masters of TSN. Mark, go ahead. Hi guys, you, you've been playing very well together by all accounts on the same line. What do you appreciate about each other's games? Um, for me, I, I, like really, I really like playing with uh, Pelts here. He's super fast, plays really hard. Um, he's easy to play with too. He's a really smart player, so uh, it's fun playing with him. Kind of war zero. Uh, I mean, for me to play with, uh, with Halsey and Nui, uh, two fast players, two, two smart players, uh, it's... Uh, pretty easy to, to play with them and uh, I think we we, we complete uh, uh, well e each other. You guys uh, could one day play against each other in the Battle of Alberta in the NHL. Will it be harder to hate each other in the NHL one day if you win gold together here? Um, I think I think probably a little bit. I mean, uh, we're pretty close teammates. So, uh, but yeah, we're lucky enough to play against each other in the Battle of Alberta. I think it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, same. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Mark. Our next question is from Stéphane LaRue from RDS. <coughs> Merci beaucoup, Jacob. Uh, on a appris que fort probablement votre match du 21 uh, n'aura pas lieu. Au départ, quand on regardait tout ça, il devait avoir uh, 11 matchs à jouer, tu sais, trois intra-équipes, six contre les universités. 2, le 21 puis le 23. Là, au total, vous allez avoir joué seulement quatre matchs. Est-ce que c'est est inquiétant un peu de, de s'emmener dans un tournoi comme ça avec si peu de matchs joués? Je sais que toi, tu en as joué un petit peu avec Val d'Or, mais la plupart des joueurs n'en ont pas joué beaucoup. Euh, écoute, euh, je ne pense pas que c'est inquiétant. Euh, on pratique, euh, je pense, une heure et demie à deux heures à chaque jour. Euh, le pays, c'est bon. C'est sûr que ce n'est pas la même chose qu'une game, mais euh, euh, je pense qu'on... On, on, on se prépare bien justement pour, euh, pour les matchs, puis on, on, on est censé jouer le 23 contre, contre les Russes, fait que, tu sais, euh, ça va être euh, une bonne game, puis je pense que ça, ça va nous mettre euh, euh, du bon vie pour, pour, pour le tournoi. Là. Merci. Merci. Next question is from John Abbott with TSN. Good morning, guys. Uh, Dylan, this one first for you. Just wondering, um, with the, the talent-rich team that you're playing on, what you hope the identity of your line will be or, or what the mission of, of your line will be um, once, you, once the puck drops here in a couple of days? Um, yeah, well, I think we got a really fast line, so I think we can bring a lot of energy to our team. Um, if we're matched up against like, another top line, I think we are a good shutdown line. Um, but while saying that, too, I think we can produce offense. We got some really skilled players. Uh, but our whole team's super talented, so... Uh, wherever the coaches put our line, I think we'll, we'll, do, we'll be good. Thanks, Dylan. And Jacob, for you, uh, just wondering your, your uh, impressions and thoughts now living this out and being on the ice and uh, what this means to you to actually get here after uh, having a couple of challenges last time around in last camp. Well, I, I mean, uh, 
it's it's pretty fun, uh, you know, to be here with the boys, uh, to to go back on, on the ice. Uh, felt like uh, you know we uh, we only practice a, a couple of times, and we have I think 18 days of uh, of staying in staying in our room. So uh, to be able to to enjoy that with the boys, uh, it's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I mean uh, it's it's a huge honor for me to be to be here and to to represent uh, my country. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Our next question is from Sam Cosentino with Sportsnet. Hi, guys. If I look at the line structure, it looks to me like you guys are probably going to get some favorable uh, matchups. And you think maybe that uh, you're underrated a little bit offensively, and that, you know, with some of the matchups I assume you're going to get, that you're going to be able to do more damage than maybe people would expect. Um, I think, yeah, that's the goal. I think uh, we got some really talented players on the team, but our line's also very talented. So um, I think we can do that role of a shutdown line, but also produce offense too. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Our next question is from Rob Tichkowski, the Edmonton Sun. Uh, hi guys, uh, I was just wondering if, uh, uh, just in terms of a comparison from uh, your bubble to the NHL, so I know when the NHL players were uh, inside there, they had you know virtual golf and coffee shops and a lounge to hang out in. Uh, what sort of amenities have they provided for the Canadian team? Um, yeah, we got a team lounge. Uh, we, we're lucky enough to be in the Oilers dressing room, so uh, they got like a ping pong table in there and stuff. So it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, first couple of days out of the quarantine, they'll have been a little stricter, but I think things will loosen up as we get going through the tournament. So we'll have, we'll have more time to like, spend with each other in the lounge and uh, do do fun team building activities, that kind of thing. So you guys are free to roam the hotel uh, as you please, or do they kind of have you locked down like to your floor specifically, or how does that work? Yeah, for right now, it's a little bit stricter just because there's been some cases. But uh, I think uh, like when the tournament like happens and then when things are kind of more under control. Uh, I think we'll be able to spend more time like in the lounge with each other, like in each other's rooms, that kind of thing. Thank you. Our next question is back to Mark Masters. Dylan, you touched on being in the Oilers room. Dylan uh, Cousins was saying yesterday it, he was afraid of getting lost. It's so big. You know, what stands out being in the Oilers room? Yeah, well, it's, it's massive. There's a, I don't know, it's a ton of square feet. It's it's definitely the biggest dressing I've ever been in. Uh, it's so nice too. Like the lounge kind of looks like a hotel lobby. Um, like the hot like or the hot tub and cold tub. It's like really really nice. Like it's like a pool. And then I don't know. There's just a whole, like so many amenities and so many cool things. So it's a uh, it's crazy to be in there and it's super cool. Jacob is a Flames prospect. You're behind enemy lines, sort of, with this Oilers room. What stands out to you about? about uh, that dressing room and what you can do in there? Oh, well, I mean, I think, uh, you know, the, the, I think it's it's all set for us to perform. Uh, I mean, uh, with, with the cold tub, the hot tub, uh, the space that, that we have, I mean, uh, it's, it's it's pretty fun to to be uh, in in that room, even though in two or three years, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hate it. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next question is to Patrick Henry. Moi, Jacob, je ne pas original, mais tu peux juste nous dire en français qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce qui t'a impressionné avec le vestiaire des Oilers? Puis y a-t-il quelque chose qui t'a surpris particulièrement là, que tu as retrouvé dans ce vestiaire-là que tu t'attendais pas à voir nécessairement? Euh, écoute, euh, je pense qu'il y a 28 000 pieds carrés. Euh, je pense que de space en masse, euh, c'est juste les hot tubs, puis euh, Puis cold tub, euh, je pense que, que tout est mis en place pour nous euh, pour qu'on performe. Puis euh, euh, c'est sûr, je pense que euh, dans deux ou trois ans, je vais, je vais haïr un peu ça. Fait que euh, pour l'instant, euh, j'en profite. Euh, Est-ce que vous savez si vous allez rester dans ce vestiaire-là tout le long du tournoi? C'est ça qui est prévu? Euh, moi, je pense que oui. Je pense qu'on va rester là tout, tout le long du tournoi. Merci. Merci. Our next question is from Matthew Black at CTV. 
Thank you. Uh, Dylan, I just wanted to ask you a bit about Bragg Creek. You're the first player uh, for Team Canada to come from there. What's the hockey scene like there, and what does it mean to you to represent that area? Um, yeah, it's definitely a huge honor. Uh, uh, Bragg Creek is kind of a small town, so there's not, not too many hockey players, but uh, I grew up playing outdoor hockey, uh, outdoor hockey league in Bragg Creek, so that's kind of how I got my roots in hockey. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely pretty special being, being from there and representing them and my country in uh, the World Juniors this year. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Our next question is back to Stefan LaRue. Uh, oui, Jacob, uh, est-ce que les joueurs entre vous, vous parlez beaucoup en ce moment? T'sais, ce tournoi-là est toujours très suivi dans le temps des Fêtes, mais là, le fait qu'il n'y a pas eu de hockey depuis l'automne, le fait que ça va être le seul hockey qui va jouer dans le temps des Fêtes, on dirait que les gens, là, ils ne se peuvent plus là, puis attendre que ce tournoi-là commence, ils ont peur que, que ça soit remis. Est-ce que les gars, entre vous autres, vous... Vous vous dites, euh, on va avoir encore plus de spotlight que peut-être d'habitude à cause de la situation? Euh, tu sais, euh, je pense qu'on s'en parle pas tant. Euh, on le sait que 2020, ça a quand même été une grosse euh, année euh, pour oui, le hockey, mais pour le monde au complet. Euh, tu sais, je pense qu'on va apporter euh, un peu de bonheur aussi euh, aux, aux Canadiens. Puis, euh, euh, je pense pas qu'on a peur de ci ou de ça. Il euh, n'y a pas de fans ici. Euh, on le sait qu'il va y avoir peut-être des, des millions qui vont nous regarder euh, à, à la TV. Donc, euh, euh, est-ce que c'est une pression de plus? Je pense pas. Euh, on, je pense qu'on va jouer euh, comme qu'on est capable avec pression ou non. Merci. Merci. We have another question from Sam Cosentino. Hi, Esther. I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect, Sam. And we have time for one more question, and we will go back to Mark Masters. Dylan, you mentioned a shutdown line. What, what are... Sorry about that, Mark. Go ahead. Dylan, you mentioned shutdown line. What do you think are the ingredients that make a, for a good shutdown line? Um, I think just uh, speed is a big part of it. I think just getting in the way of your opponents and kind of making it hard on, hard on them to make plays. Uh, another thing, too, I think just, just good positional play. Um, I think like being in the right spot and making sure they can't I don't know, set up plays, that kind of thing is not a big thing. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, too. That's great. Thank you very much, Mark. And thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Dylan. That is the time we have for questions this afternoon. Thank you for joining us for today's uh, post or today's media availability. Thank you, everyone. Merci.